In this video, I want to show you how to search by drawing a shape on the map. Drawing a shape or shapes around a location on the map is by far the best way to search for listings when it comes to using a geographical location. I like to draw my shape first before I add any additional criteria, but I want to share a little tip with you. If you enter a zero for the MLS number field, when you go to the map, you'll notice that there are no matches found giving you a clean slate. Now, the next tip I like to show you is up here in the right hand corner, jump to address. We have some predefined locations that allows you to jump to a certain location. I'm going to jump to the Belmont area of Dayton. The next tip is up here at the top also and it's called layers. If you open up layers, you can turn on zip code boundaries, city boundaries, school district boundaries, neighborhood boundaries, and so forth. I'm just going to turn on the neighborhood boundaries here. Now, I need to go back up here to the top and pick one of my drawing tools, the circle or radius, the rectangle, or the polygon. I'm going to use the polygon and very quickly I'm just going to pick some major corners of this map. You'll see here in a minute why I'm doing this. And then I click the red dot to finish. Now I can just zoom in, move the map, and grab any portion of this blue line and drag it up and be more precise and more accurate. And if I need to, I can drill down even closer, move the map over again, and now you can see what mistakes I might have made. As I keep moving around the shape of this neighborhood, I also want to remind you that you won't have to do this every time you want to search in a Belmont neighborhood. You're going to be able to save this as a template and that way anytime someone wants to live in a Belmont neighborhood you can just pull this search right back up again. And just continue on until you get the entire shape filled in just the way you like it. And once you're done you can just zoom back out and you notice I have a pretty accurate representation of the Belmont neighborhood. Now these boundary lines should be pretty accurate, but still use your best judgment and make additional changes as you feel needed. Now that the shape is done, don't forget to go back to your criteria and take out that zero. Then when you return to the map, you'll notice now I have all the listings that are in that shape. And then all I need to do now is save it as a new save search or even as a new speed bar shortcut. Saving it as a new save search, I can just give it a name. I don't need to link it to a client because it's just a default search. But I do want to enable this as one of my 10 favorite ones on my home page. And then when I hit save, it is now saved. And when I log in the next time and someone wants to live in that neighborhood of Belmont, I don't need to draw that shape. All I need to do is just click on it, go back to its criteria, and then just enter my criteria, whatever that client likes. But you'll notice I don't need to draw that shape again because when I go to it, it's already drawn. All I need to do now is go to results and save it as a new search or new auto email for that client. I won't need to update that Belmont search because that is my default, but this will be my new search based off of that default search with that map. And you'll notice it just saves you a lot of time. And like I said, you'll get a lot more accurate results. I hope this little video helps you. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.